J Drone here. Let's talk batteries. There's lots of different types of quadcopters come in all different shapes, colors, sizes, and they all take different batteries. Some are similar to others, other ones are larger than others, other ones are smaller than others. So let's talk batteries. These ones here, 3.7 mAh. That's generally what's found in the strikers. These ones here, the top three were aftermarket that I purchased. Actually, top four. There's one stack there. Also, 500 mAh, uh, 3.7s. This lower one here, that one's out of uh, stock quadcopter. These ones here, I believe, are 650 mAh also 3.7 these ones here are 800 mAh also 3.7 now if you take side-by-side -side comparison to the 500s you can see the 800 is considerably thicker higher mAh you go the longer it takes to discharge then you have these little guys here which are considerably shorter than your standard batteries but I don't know if you can see there it's 500 mAh it's just smaller uh, they've obviously smushed the cells in there as opposed to being elongated like those this one here again a 500 mAh this one is a 380 mAh looks almost identical to that one but 380 500 mAh and this one is a 300 mAh and again they look very similar but the mAh is quite different and obviously this one is considerably shorter than all the rest of them and I believe this is a 280 mAh very small compared to those long ones then you have batteries like this which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see on this because of metallic blue but let's see yeah you can see that 500 mAh they're skinnier and slightly longer than the other ones and same thing with these these are skinnier and just slightly longer than your standard 3.7s. These blue ones are aftermarket ones. I ordered these just as well as I ordered the 800 mAh's and the 500 mAh's. And uh, why, why are we talking about batteries? Well, as somebody flying, you kind of want to know how to extend your flight time. Well... If you're talking about the striker, two strikers over here, glow in the dark striker, how, how can you extend from these standard batteries? Well, you can go up. You can go up to 600 mAh, you can go up to 800 mAh. That's going to extend it. It has the power to lift these bigger batteries because the bigger you go, the heavier they are. Um, also, I don't know if you could see this. See the end is taped the end is taped these manufacturer batteries are probably produced by the millions it probably costs some cents to make um, I suggest if you can get batteries with these rubber tips if you get batteries with these rubber tips you don't have to worry about the taping the ends because they're gonna separate like if you see these I can't use them anymore I mean I'm sure I could find the ends and reconnect them and whatnot but the ends literally ripped off of them okay now we get down to stuff like this you have something like this this quadcopter will not fit these batteries 
it is standard with a 500 mAh, which is one of these small ones, and that slides right in there. So how how can you increase that? Well, if you get long ones like these that are higher mAh than 500, they'll slip right in. There's more room in there. You don't have to mod it, it'll slip right in. Now, you've seen me mod this guy, which is a tarantula. Excuse the tape, he's uh, taking a beating. <laughs> but for him, one of these small ones generally goes in there. And the manufacturer actually made it, so it was only like a 380. And bam. So you got 380 mH in there, you're getting about 7 to 8 flight time. I've been strapping large ones on the outside of the body. So I've been taking something like this, something like this, and something like this, and getting 12 minute flight times. Now the 800 mAh is a little bit large for the tarantula. It's a very small drone. I mean, it's wide, but the body is small. Uh, you're probably going to want to do something like this. It's not a bigger battery. It is a higher MAH, but it is also thin. And you're not going to have to strap it on the outside of the body. And doing that, not doing that, is creating less drag. When I had the batteries taped on the outside of this, it's protruding above this, and as you're flying, you're creating drag. It's less streamlined. So, just an overview. Higher MAH equals longer discharge time, not always longer flight time. If you put something extremely heavy on this, like the 800 MAH batteries, as opposed to a 500 MAH battery, when it came with a 380, the 800 MAH really isn't getting any better flight times than the 500 MAH. You're almost identical because you're compensating in weight then. The 500 MAH is about the right weight where you're going to extend your flight time. And just to show you one more thing. See a double stack battery? That is a 7.4 500 MAH. And it also has a special clip to it. That goes to that guy, which flies extremely high and extremely fast. I'm J Drone. These are batteries. And if you order batteries, a lot of the time that's what it'll come in. It'll look like that. And let's see. You get packages that look like that. I have lots of batteries. I have lots of drones. I like lots of flight time. Um, if you have any questions, please do ask. I'm more than happy to answer questions. And this is J-Drone. Have a great day.